Good Go morning, guys. Dar Sizzle and Pudding coming at you from Stewart, Florida today. We are on our flats boat. If you're new to the channel, we're a Florida fishing couple. And this morning, I am starting the morning looking for bait. We've been spending about half an hour doing this in the dark with not much luck yet. So that's kind of the plan today is to get some live bait in the cast net and then do some searching, explore the beach, look for some fish over there. We got the approaching mullet run, which should be here right now. And then just try to find some big fish, right? Yeah, exactly. We haven't been in store for a while. Uh, now you guys know we had some boat problems, and so we're gonna come up here and do some exploring. And again, the mullet run is starting, so we're gonna search up for that. So uh, it's really just you know a day in the water with you know following our dreams. No, we don't have any specific plan. We're just gonna have a great time. Yeah. And we're gonna take you guys along with us. So let's exactly. Get going. We're just gonna roll with it. Let's go. I think I just saw a shark. All right guys, so we made a run out on the beach before the wind picks up today. It is supposed to pick up, I think, out of the northeast, so we got flat calm conditions this morning. Getting the net reloaded because I do see some finger mullet, which is the official start of the mullet run. We got pelicans that we just came across running the shoreline here on the beach, and they brought us to the bait, basically. And now looking here, I can see tarpon rolling. Looks like there's some sharks in the mix, so this is gonna be good. Hopefully I can get a nice wad full of bait right now, one and done, and then catch some fish. Ugh. We gotta get a lot closer to get on those small ones, unfortunately. Okay. We gotta go find them on the beach to the north. Not a lot of mullet, but a lot of those, uh, what you call them? Horn bellies. Horn bellies. Nice assortment of bait right there. Wish I had a little more mullet in there, but we're just being extra careful because we got some swells to deal with and we're in a little flats boat. So that is a nice tarpon bait right there though. Yeah, baby. Right here. Oh yeah. Did you see that? Oh my God. This is so sick. Hopefully a tarpon doesn't try to eat these when I cast the net, but there's tarpon jumping right in front of me. Watch, get ready. I love the mullet run, so exciting. You mark in depth? No. All right, I'm just gonna blind throw. We got him. We got him by like, third time's a charm. Nice, massive tarpon rolling on these mullet skulls. Now we got exactly what they're feeding on. It's gonna make it a little tougher, baby, please move this rod gonna make it a little tougher to catch these fish uh, because there's so much bait for them to feed on but at the same time we get to throw these on the outside of the school and there's so many tarpon that hopefully we'll get one to bite but we got enough bait now for quite a while so done throwing the net gonna get these guys right into the well and then uh, we're gonna be fishing all right nice job our sizzle yeah and these big mullet schools there's really two techniques if you throw a bait into the middle of it you're not gonna catch anything because there's two a million baits so you want to put it on a weight to go underneath the school, or you want to have it on the outside of the school, and preferably both. So that's the technique we're going to be using. We're going to be using like a, these are big tarpon, we got big baits. We're going to be using an 8-0 circle hook, VMC, and uh, throw it on the outside. What size leader? One underneath, probably, I don't know, 40 pound leader? What, what did you say? 40 pound leader. 30 pound? No, not. Are you I kidding me? 40 pound, we're trying to get a bite. <laughs> and the keys, we use 60. That's the tarpon. Yeah. Whoa, these one just did a backflip, we got to go. <laughs> you gotta get some footage. Dude. Oh my god. Dude, they're airing out at all at the same time. Film that shit. Alright, we, we just had a tarpon bite. Yeah. Fish, fish. What baby right what? Behind you. Holy shit. Did he hook? Did he get hooked? What happened? No, he didn't jump. The lines started going out. Okay. Pick up my rod. Okay, it's running out. I'm gonna let him run with it. He's running, he's running, he's running. He's running, he's running, he's running. He's running, he's running. Here we go. Sarpin! Tarpon, that's a tarpon, that's a tarpon. I think so. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is actually. I feel massive head shakes. He's not jumping. Now he's coming back towards me. We're hooked up on something. Could be a big snook. 
That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. It feels like a snook. Or a massive jack, but he didn't take a smoke and run like a jack. It feels like a snook. Can we get up there? Yeah. Jeez, where is it? Oh. oh. Why do you feel the drag? It's barely set. All right. Did nothing wrong. <sighs> I did nothing wrong. <laughs> Brian lost the fish. I've, I've lost like three fish so far. We've gotten three bites. One, I think that one Darcy has a shark, but we're calling it a bite anyway. But definitely two tarpon bites. One just like three seconds ago. Yeah, aired out. Aired out right behind the boat and stole my bait. Yeah. Um, a huge monster, like totally out of the water, like 20 feet from the boat. So uh, we're surrounded, well, basically surrounded by tarpon right now. They have, they've stopped like being so active with the mullet and jumping so much. I can't yeah. even see the camera because of my. You gotta turn it. Yeah, well, I gotta turn me. Whatever. There you anyway. go. Yeah, it's better. Um, so that's the deal. We're just trying to get some tarpon bites, man. Yeah. Tarpon fishing, you know, sometimes. Patience. A lot of times you don't catch a fish. It's not as bad as sword fishing, but sometimes you don't catch a fish. Patience, patience. There's just so much bait here too that it just makes it that much tougher. There's thousands of mullet that look exactly the same. So to get yours distinguishable to a tarpon, it's tough. But getting them outside the school and just being patient, you might get lucky. Yeah, so again, you know, we got one under the, Darcy has one under the school with the weight and I got two on top outside the school. So we might try throwing a dead one on the bottom because you, ne you never know what they're gonna bite. And yeah. tarpon are scavengers. Yeah, but so far, they like the bait on the top. <laughs> so far. Oh, that one's getting nervous. Oh, it just got blown up on. Oh my God, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. You fight this fish. You want to give it to me? Yeah. And let me roll this up. They want top water, that's insane. Yeah. Give it, give it, give it. That's the, the least amount of drag on this rod here. Oh my God. I know it's nothing. Let me use the boat. We're gonna use the boat. Here we go. Okay. Watch your bait here. I know. Oh, he just got eight. Oh my God. They want top water all day. I think he did. He just eat them. I don't know. I saw your bait get eight. Get up front. That way. Okay. Wait. I'm hooked up! I knew it! I told you! <laughs> We're I, doubled up on tarpon! Did I tell oh, you mine's that? off! Mine's off! Did I tell you that? Top water all day! That way, that way, that way! He's gonna spool me, man! Top water all day! That's what they want! That's crazy! That was cool, doubling up on tarpon! <laughs> I've been trying to tell Brian the whole time that they seem like they like the tarpon bite, but keep them in the bay on the bottom too, you never know, but so far, Having a bait on the bottom has yielded nothing, and we've got like six bites on the surface. So that tells you it's a surface bite today. That was cool. That was a landable fish you had. Yeah, he was a medium. Yep. This one has not jumped, so I don't know what it is, but. Oh, there he is. Oh. That's a huge fish, dude. Yeah, huge. We better catch up. I gotta get line back. All right, all right, I'm coming. Right here, he's close. Slow down. I'm getting close. Oh, you guys might also be saying, why are you talking so loud? Uh, Brian and I cannot hear each other with the two strokes. So we have to like almost yell in a high pitched noise. So that's why you might sound like I'm angry, but I'm not. I'm just yelling because we can't hear each other. I want to get on him before he breaks off. Yeah, he ain't done yet. He's trying to keep the line behind his back. Try to wear him out here. Want to land him quickly. We don't want to fight a fish all day. Well, here he is, here he is, here he is. It's a shark. What? Yep. I knew it. He didn't feel like a freaking tarpon and that weird jump he did was like a twisty jump. All right, cranking down the drag, let's go. Darn, Brian had the tarpon and I got the shark. So we just got our hand in that spool, trying to get this fish up. We just wasted our 10 minutes of our lives on this longer stupid shark. 20 minutes. And I had the tarpon. Yup. 
That sucks. We both thought we had tarpon on this one. I never Did saw. Did we see him jump? Never Remember he jumped? I never saw the initial no. bite. I just saw the explosion afterwards. Yeah, but it wasn't they a They jump on the bait. Go, go. No, we saw him jump like a quarter. Baby, you got to follow your fish. What are you doing way back here? Because I'm trying to land him for you here. Oh. Holding this bull, making him circle right here, not going anywhere else. He's staying right. right here from now on. All right. There's our black tip cat's clean cloak. Let me reel. Yeah, reel. Whew. Black tip. All right. Catch clean cook. I get the cook out. All right, you want the, the hooker? Yeah, well, they're just the pliers. All right, we gotta get this out pretty quick because I've, you know, you guys know about sharks. If they're not swimming, they're not breathing. So I'm just trying to try and get the hook out. If I can, I can't. Up, oh, oh. I can't. Maybe. But. Oh, I got it. Nice job. <laughs> that was perfect. All right. Grab the line, the line broke, and then he still had the hook attached there and just popped that right out. That's pretty lucky. Yeah. The fish gods will thank us for that. Now let's go catch a tarpon. Yeah, jeez. Crap. How many turns on this? Half. Looks like it's a shark. Oh, yeah. This is weird. I don't know what this is. It just dart like ran that way and then it did 180 and just turned Hold around. On. I don't think the camera's on it anymore. Just caught up to it. Oh yeah, it is. No idea what it is. Not jumping. Oh shit, big tarp, it just ate that. Oh my God. Open the bail. Oh my God, that was insane tarpon. Holy smokes. That was the biggest tarpon I've seen in a while, up close and personal. And of course, the last three sharks we hook, we hook a tarpon in the background. Unbelievable. Oh, hold on. Black tip. He's got black tips on everything except that second to last one, which I know the spinner has it on there. So this is a black tip. It's a, it's a female or whatever, but every time we're getting tarpon bites. Yeah. So, oh my God, he just got blown up again, right there. He's on the, the bait's coming to the boat. Okay, recast him out there. Something's on him. All righty. Yeah, so it's time for a black tip catch and cook. Unbelievable that we keep getting tarpon bites every time I'm, hook, I'm fighting the shark. So this is actually a nice size black tip right here. And Brian is gonna try to get this fish in nice and easy and not break that hook, don't break that line. And we're not getting this fish in. You want a gaff? I don't even have a gaff. Do we not have it? We might have a little the gaff was in here yesterday, the five-footer. I took that big one out. Oh. Well. Is that little one in here? That, no. That was the only gaff we had in here. No, we had that little one in here forever. Oh, great. All right, so Brian's got to grab this thing by the tail, and he's gone. I never took the little gaff out. The little gaff has been in the big boat for ages now. All right, let's catch a fish. Okay. All right, now our troll, get out of the way, Sizzle. All right. All right, now our trolling motor is now working right. Unbelievable. Brian takes the gaff off the boat this morning. Can't catch a <laughs> shark. And now we got a broken trolling motor, which is really kind of important on a flats boat when you're trying to hold in an area where there's tarpon. Yeah. Everything is working against our favor today. But we're having fun catching sharks. Yeah, no tarpon, cares? jumping tarpon, but no tarpon. <laughs> but that's okay. It's a beautiful day. But I did want to say thank you. Remember in the last video, we asked for you guys help with fixing Mainly our other boat has major problems with the lower unit. And uh, we asked, you know, you guys could buy some stuff with our code, fix it, 10% off. And also if you want to become yeah. a Patreon, I'll put I saw some of your guys' comments. No, we're not begging for money. We're asking you to help us. And the ways to help us is by buying stuff on my website, which is paying for product. And the same with Patreon. Patreon is the same exact thing, except we provide exclusive content there that provides value to our fans, okay? So we're not begging for money. Just heads up there. <laughs> we just would like your help if you want to help us. Yes. If you... Exactly. I'm not asking for donations. <laughs> oh, 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 he's on it. Sick. He's on it. He's on it. I'm going to run. Eat it. It's a big bait. That was sick. I just casted that out. Brian's got a fish on too. Here we go. Did he drop it?
It seems that way. Hold on. I think he's still eating it. He just wanted a frisky bait. That was crazy. Nope. How did he drop that? I'll get that in a minute. What? Tar are you on a tarpon? I'm not sure. You mean not sure? You got a reel. I, did, I didn't see the jump. I mean, I saw the splash, but I didn't see the fish. Did you? No. But it sounded like a tarpon. It did. Is it going out? It's not anymore, no. All right, so you don't have a fish, in other words. I, I just gave me a second. Let's see here. He doesn't know he's hooked. It feels you like start a reeling. It feels like a shark, though, I'm telling you. Probably is. Yeah, here we go. Lock the bail. Freak. It's a shark. Okay. God damn it. All right, another shark on. Crank him down and bring him in. I'm trying. Quit you fooling around. Ugh. I'd love to eat a shark at this point, but I can't. <laughs> Turned him. Come this way now. Good job. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Clip. Bad job. Bad job. Come on, you sucker. Okay, he's going this way. Good job. Mm. All right, everybody. Mm. I'm not sure if there's a shark fishing video or a uh. tarpon video. Mm. Well, let me tell you what gear we're using. You're using six or eight thousand Saragozas. You can't even bring a fish in. And then for tarpon or sharks like this, you want to use 50 pound braid, that's probably 30. And then the leaders, we're using 40 and 50 pound leaders. And we're not breaking off on the tarpon because we're not getting them on long enough, but it's breaking off the sharks. Yep. Which is not terrible. Catching plenty of, plenty I take of my sharks. Gloves off. All right, I guess it's time to head in. All right, we're going to head in. I'm going to leave this road off a little bit more. I mean, it's really picking up. Yeah. All right, yeah. Let's go. It's in the afternoon, we're getting a little bit, it's getting a little windier. We're in a flats boat, so we're just gonna run in real quick and. Well, it's not afternoon, it's 10 a.m. Oh, feels like afternoon. When I got it before, so it feels like the afternoon. Yeah. And Unfortunately, yeah, northeast wind pushing right onto the beach here. We got some swells, so we had a nice little morning where there was predicted no wind, and that's exactly what happened. And we got to see some epic tarpon stuff just. Oh, would love to catch one this year. I've yet to catch one besides the Florida Keys tarpon. All right, and it's full mullet run. This is the time of year to do it, so let's We're get doing inside. It. We're doing it. It didn't happen. Yeah, she is such a crybaby. You guys hear her uh, crying? I am a little crying. Baby. Go bring and up the And I anchor. got a broken trolling motor. I'm even more upset. Yeah, that stinks. We can't win with the boat problems, guys. It's just one thing after the next. I'm telling you, nonstop. Sorry. No, I think the days go, I mean, you know, when you go fishing, half uh. of fishing, I mean, she gets upset, but I just like to be on the boat I and be get outside frustrated. and see tarpon and sharks and birds and so I'm, you know, so I got no complaints. Tarpon were blowing up this morning. I yeah, wish they did that morning. for a little longer, but they kind of gave up as oh, soon as the We got a little bit of a south tide coming came through, up. making all the water on the beach here really dirty, so we're going to get out of here. South here. current should be a north current. Yeah. All right. Back at the house. It's actually another day. We're, it is. It's a... We're faking the ending that's on the same day, but it's, different. it's the next day. It's the next day. I'm sorry. Real, real truth here. It's real facts. truth. Real truth. Facts. Only facts. We, didn't, we forgot to wrap it up. We did. But uh, we had a great day in the water catching sharks and tarpon. I can't complain. Yeah, it was awesome mullet run fishing. Get out there if you can, especially you're on Florida's east coast, you know, particularly down in South Florida area, past Stewart and South. Yeah. There's just loads of mullet everywhere. So it's time to get out there in your little boat, go by land, go bridge fishing. You're just gonna see mullet paws everywhere and fish blowing up, but it's just so exciting. It's so much fun. Wish we caught one of those tarpon, but maybe one day we will. We, well, we also tried to keep a shark. We couldn't We couldn't do that either. No, we tried to do we a shark, failed. Shark catch and cook. Guess what's failed. on the boat today. Guess what's on the boat. She got it, she brought it today. I can't get it out. It's, that's what she said. It's a gaff. It's the gaff. It's a, I guess in the gaff. I yelled at Brian for. And, uh, the gap that he yelled at Brian for. I'm like, why did you take this out? Yeah, we'd have a catch and cook right All now. All right, so now it's on the boat. But, uh, yeah, and the other thing that broke on my trolling motor, no, that's where I, we had to go in. We had to come in early that day, the other day. That's right. Because this whole steering assembly broke. 
and we wanted to go get, find the part really quick. So we went to Master Repair, and they're one of the best places in, in the area, and they didn't have the part. So we ordered it on, from Encoda, and they sent it to me, I got it the next day. So yeah. excellent, excellent, excellent customer service from Encoda, and I installed it myself by some miracle. He did a great job. I did do Mr. a good Fix job. Mr. Fix-It. <gasps> I gotta fix that more often, guys. <laughs> I'm feeling kinda. Now you gotta kiss on your cheek. I'm gonna leave it there forever. <laughs> I'm never gonna wash. It's not Tuesday anyway. No. Anyway, it's all right, guys. Yeah, so that's about it, guys. But that's why we had to come in early. Thank goodness the trolling motor's fixed and we're back in action once again. So, until our next adventure, follow, follow your, your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Keep fixing stuff. Keep fixing. Keep fixing, keep us on the water. Don't forget about the fix it code. Just don't break. The other, the other boat is still over here. Yes, fix it code, use it. Show them, show them. So depressing. So depressing when you have this. All right, thanks. <laughs>